everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Chump and today I thought we'd try and find the best aggressive hand cannon in the game. And by aggressive I mean the archetype, so all the hand cannons that count as 3 taps in Crucible that have 110 RPM. Now this is a much maligned archetype of hand cannon, not a lot of people use them and most people seem to think that they're actually pretty trash tier. And while they certainly do have their faults, they are quite a lot of fun to use, or at least I find them quite fun to use. And it's one of my deepest joys in Destiny to try and find a gun that nobody uses that's actually pretty good. So the guns in today's video are one that's good for PvE, one that's good for Crucible, and one that's sort of like a control group to compare the others to that really represents everything that's wrong with this gun archetype. Like I said, it does have its faults and I'm not blind to that. And to begin this video, let's cover what these guns aren't great at. Hand cannons in general in PvE suffer from the fact that you've got to reload quite often. And seeing as aggressive hand cannons tend to have a really small clip, that can be a huge problem. A lot of them also don't have the range or the explosive payload that top tier scouts like the Nameless Midnight can have, so their overall utility is kind of limited. And in Crucible, a lot of the 140 RPM archetype weapons are just too good for a lot of people not to use. Think of the better devils, or for really skilled players, a great option is the old fashioned. Kill Clip actually turning it into a 3 tap monster, a bleak one that fires much faster. So with what some would call objectively better weapons in the game, why would someone choose to use these? Well, on a personal note, I just find them incredibly satisfying. Their added power and slower fire rate just seems to sit well with me. Although, as I'll cover later, a lot of that has to do with how well I'm playing. These weapons are incredibly punishing. If you miss a bullet in Crucible, for example, you're very likely dead, especially if you're coming up against one of the top tier faster firing hand cannons. But to me, there is no more satisfying joy than hitting a crispy three tap on someone when they're using something like the Better Devils and completely outplaying them. It's just an incredible amount of fun, and if you're looking for something different, then this video is for you. The first gun that I'm going to cover is the Bad News, and this is the Control Group weapon, one that suffers from a lot of the faults of this archetype, and actually by way of this weapon being pretty weak, you're going to see some of the strengths of the others that I include in this video. Just like I do all other weapons, I'm going to run through the setup that I run on this gun. Obviously there are other choices, but it's really up to you how you choose to use it. I use the Steady Hand Sight and Flared Magwell. Now the Bad News' special perk is Moving Target, which very roughly approximates the effects of Stalker from say a Call of Duty game, whereby when you aim down sight you actually move faster so you can get your strafe game on if you're really good. Now why is this aggressive hand cannon not as good as the others? Well first of all, aggressive hand cannons tend to have a much smaller clip, this has 8 rounds in it. It also has the problem that all hand cannons without explosive payloads suffer from, and that's damage fall off. The one strength of a slow rate of fire hand cannon is that if you hit 3 headshots you will get a kill. Well there are times with the bad news where that's not true, either if you hit one body shot or if you're at too far a range, this gun will start requiring more bullets in the head to kill and that's not a good thing. Its time to kill will dramatically increase from its already disadvantageous position. It doesn't handle that well, the reload is quite slow, and all in all the effort to reward ratio is all out of whack. It's quite emblematic of why everyone thinks these guns are terrible. Thankfully there are some weapons in this class that aren't all bad. And I'll move on first to my PvE recommendation. Now in a typically bungee twist of fate, what I recommend for PvE is actually the hand cannon that comes from Iron Banner. You would think the hand cannon you got for a PvP activity would be, you know, good in PvP, but it isn't really. How I use the steady hand is I use True Sight and Flared Magwell. This gun also has a smaller clip, so reloading is going to be a big factor for you. And talking of reloading, the best thing about this gun, and what makes it really good for PvE fun, is Outlaw. Headshot kills will dramatically increase your productivity with this gun, as the major fault of hand cannons having to reload all the time basically disappears. Hit one dreg in the head, reload. Hit anything in the head and kill it. Reload. This will result in you being able to keep your average DPS much, much higher with this weapon. PvE also doesn't have a lot of the performance pressure that Crucible does, so using it at non-optimal range isn't quite as bad in this setting. And the gun's lack of any sort of explosive payload isn't as glaring when you're grinding out public events. If you're looking for that heavy, reliable, sturdy hand cannon to shoot all the minions of the darkness in the face with, this is what I'd go with. Now, when it comes to Crucible, I've made a bit of fanfare about this now. Next weapon. Any fan of the channel or who watches our videos will know that I love the True Prophecy, and it's the future war cult hand cannon from the Faction Rally. This is one of my two favourite weapons in the game for Crucible, the other being the Better Devils for fairly obvious reasons. I think everyone at this point understands why that gun is great. Now, as far as I've been able to ascertain, this is the only aggressive hand cannon with any sort of explosive payload. And really, you should look at it as a Better Devil's bigger brother. It fires slower, it hits harder, it's more punishing, but it's an incredible amount of 
of fun. I have it set up with Fast Draw Sight and Appended Mag, and its special perk Time Payload has a secret benefit that I've mentioned before but I'm going to elaborate on here. The reason this is the best aggressive hand cannon in the game to use for Crucible is that normally when you're using a slower rate of fire hand cannon, the increased damage that you're doing to your opponent is immediately obvious to them. They see their shield evaporate very, very quickly if you're hitting headshots. And this quite often has the effect of people trying to evade out of the duel, and it can lead to you not being able to finish off kills in time. That's actually one of the biggest problems with these weapons in general, especially in the Crucible. If a gun is more directly damaging to somebody, you might hit them once and they're like, nope, I'm out of this fight. And that's why the True Prophecy is so good. Timed payload tricks people. The initial hit won't suggest to your opponent that you're using a three-tap hand cannon. They'll probably think you're just using a better Devils and they'll probably fancy their chances in a duel. It's deceptive and sneaky. And that's why I love it, because it isn't a better Devils, and it is hitting them way, way harder than they think. Before they know it, as long as you're hitting headshots, your opponent can die before they even knew what happened. Only in the death screen when they check what weapon you're using will they start to understand. This is absolutely why it's one of my favourite weapons. Not only does it have an explosive payload, so half its damage doesn't suffer from fall off, another reason why the better Devils is amazing, but it also has a larger clip at 11. This gun has a lot less of the problems that plague this gun class. Now I will say this, this gun is still challenging to use despite all its advantages. If you miss one shot to the head, you're probably dead. I have survived in duels longer than that. Everyone's had those fights where you both seem to miss for two or three shots before the fight's concluded. But on reasonable expectations, you should be thinking, I have to be accurate with this gun. It's also very good for team shotting, actually. Seeing as it does so much damage per hit, it's very likely that if you do get a shot off on someone, one of your teammates will definitely kill them if they try and evade or you die. Despite it being one of my absolute favourite guns in the game, you really have to be on the ball when using this gun. I do recommend it, but you have to be very disciplined and really on your game. If you're not, this gun will punish you very severely for it. But I don't know if there's any other gun that's as satisfying to me to use and get kills in the Crucible. It feels like Destiny 1 again, three taps all around the map, and more than anything, it just represents fun to me. I can't give a weapon any higher recommendation. This gun is very enjoyable to use. And that's about it for the video today guys. Don't underestimate how cool these guns actually are. Steady hand for PvE, true prophecy for Crucible. And pretty much avoid all the others, like they are some kind of bad news. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating. If you never want to miss another video of ours again, please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad. You'll be in good company. And finally, please follow the Your Destiny Twitter. It's where you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump, and until next time, 